Good, hello, thanks for watching. This person sent me their palms via email and asked me when will their ambitions get completed? Not if, but when. Now, the sun mount or Apollo mount is where we would look for where and how a person achieves their success. The success line is seen on this mount, sometimes referred to as the sun line or the Apollo line and sometimes even the money line. And that is because success for most people is related to money. For some, though, it is purely happiness. For others, it's a combination of both. Now, this person has rounded features. They are personable. They are enjoying the pleasures of life. They're motivated, enthusiastic, charismatic. And for this reason, they are, you know, success for them is a combination of both money and happiness. Now, interestingly, the relationship line here comes into contact with the sun lines and they do in some way become some sort of an obstacle because you can see that there's a jarring here of the sun line. There is a doubling of the sun line just here. This is more than one income. And what this really means is that a person's relationship is having an effect is impacted on and is the direct uh, reason at the same time for this person's happiness. It isn't possible for this person to be happy without their relationship. And in some way, their finances are governed by the person they are in a relationship with. They also have a simian line. The head and the heart line are fused. As a result, their thoughts and feelings are both fused and are as one. They find it very difficult to detach from uh, you know, being making an impartial decision. There's always a, an emotional um, attachment to decision making. Therefore, love, happiness and finances are all in some way intertwined with their, the joy in their life. There is also a doubling of the heart line, perhaps misinterpreted by some as something as a partial girdle of Venus. This is, in fact, a doubling of the heart line. Now, to answer this question, the relationship line comes into contact with this heart line at the age of around about 50. And you can see that the career line at the age of 50 begins to turn and take a, a different sort of career path, a different path in life for this person at this time. And, and it turns more towards Apollo, more towards creativity, enjoyment, art, beauty, nature, all of the, uh, the wonderful happiness uh, in life uh, to be enjoyed. And really what this shows us is that at this time, this person is more able to be free and explore and express themselves and who they are and uh, and, and enjoy the, those creative um, urges and abilities about them that they haven't really been able to potentially uh, unleash earlier on in life, be probably because they were just so busy working so hard to pay the bills. You can read the sun lines directly alongside the fate line. And at this time, it's at this time of around, around about the age of 50, where this person uh, has a doubling of their income. There's a second income stream. And so really to answer this person's question, it's around about the age of 50 where they truly begin to um, regain success and, and make, um, make something of their hard work. The seeds that they have sowed early on in life, probably about mid-twenties, mid to late twenties, have now uh, come into fruition at the age of 50. It is not without support from uh, a loving relationship at this time. The fate line branches outwards. There is more than one path, destiny, career for this person at this time. And at the same time, well, not at the same time, but at the end of their sunline, it branches out wonderfully. And again, this really shows us how the seeds that they have sown, that hard work and the foundations that they have laid and uh, the roots of their success and their path in life are coming into fruition later on in life. So to answer their question, it's around about the age of 50 that it really begins. It's not until about the age of 65 that this really starts to bear fruit 
so 50 is where it really begins they they begin to feel this happiness and freedom that they've never really been able to feel before and it really comes into fruition at about the age of 65 thank you for watching and please subscribe